museum's closed. Whoa. Oh, damn it, kid. Why, Victor, look who it is. The filthy little stray that made off with your wallet. Come on, son. You haven't got a chance. Just hand it over. Now, the ring. What ring? <laughs> Catherine! Who do you think you are, boy? You're nothing but a filthy, cast-off little beggar. You're not fit to touch these objects. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's just a kid. <laughs> Stop him! <laughs> <laughs> Stop the boy! Holy crap! He has the ring! Break the door down! Oh god. He's heading for the roof! Catch him! Chain! Break it! Hurry! Let's go! Oh, crap. Who the hell are these guys? Got him! <clears throat> 
Sorry about that. Relax, kid. We're safe here. Go on. Suit yourself. You don't want it. What do you want from me? Hmm. A little gratitude would be nice. I did just save your ass back there. Thanks. But what's in it for you? I mean, you're a crook, right? <laughs> you gotta have an angle. <laughs> you are one piece of work, kid. What's your story, anyway? Look, mister. No offense, but I don't even know you. Easily remedied. Victor Sullivan. This should be the part where you introduce yourself. Okay. Suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, not with his wife back in England, anyway. <laughs> okay, good point. Let me see it. Come on, kid. If I was going to take it from you, I would have done it by now. Thank you. So, what is this? Parvis Mem... Sick Parvis Magna. It means greatness from small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? You see, Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581 when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. That's when she made him a knight. Well, you sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. How's a kid your age know Latin? The nuns sort of insisted on it. Ah, so like a boarding school. That's a nice word for it. Okay, then. So what was all that business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? You're the one working for him. Look, kid. A client wants something, I obtain it. For a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. Look pretty friendly to me. Yeah, well... Anyway, I'm pretty sure I'm fired. Okay, look. First of all, that was no astrolabe. It's some sort of decoding device. Check this out. On his way around the world, Drake sailed through the East Indies. Only he says that it took him six months to get from here to here. Yeah, so? So it doesn't add up. 
He was way too good a sailor for that. It would have taken him a month. Tops. He was hiding something. Something big. How big? Like secret mission from the Queen big. Like millions in plunder treasure that hasn't ever been recovered big. That big? That big. And that decoder has something to do with it. I would bet my life on it. Oh, swell. And Marlowe's got it. Won't do her much good without the key. So it's a stalemate, then? For now. <laughs> so you still haven't told me what your name is? And you still haven't told me what you want from me. Okay. Look, you got talent, but you got a lot to learn. You stick with me and I'll teach you a few things. Thanks, but I'm doing just fine on my own. Yeah, clearly. What do you say we uh, try this again? My friends call me Sully. Nathan Drake. Nate. Drake, huh? Okay. I see great things in our future, kid. Great things. <laughs>